great amount of excitement level and hype for a secondary that includes Darius Slay as your cornerback and as your number one guy, and James Bradbury now as your number two. How excited should I be? How validated is that excitement? I would say I would, on a scale of one to ten, I would put it at a seven. Oh, okay. All right. So that's, that's pretty good because, you okay. know, finding two, two good corners in this league is very difficult to do. So you, okay. you got that there. Now, can, can, can I real quick, just, can I just get a comparison? What was it when the Eagles signed Steven Nelson last year? Oh, it was probably like a five. Woohoo. Okay. I'll take two spots. <laughs> I'll, I'll take two spots because Steven Nelson, like, was a good, like, s- solid corner. I'll say solid, decent corner. And then I think James Bradbury is obviously a, a couple of spots up. So I'm with you there. But go ahead. Yes, I'm sorry. Yeah, so the only reason why, for me, the only reason why it's not higher with those two signings, because you said secondary, is the safety position. And Ooh, it's, okay. it's got to get better. Um, that For me, that's the reason why it's, it's being held. Now, if you add, like, one more guy, I know it's, it'll never happen, but wishers can can dream, and, you know, we can dream and, and wish. But if we get somehow pull out getting Bates out of, out of uh, <laughs> Cincinnati, mm. all right, you got a 10 in the defensive secondary. <laughs> Absolutely. So. Uh, uh, so what is Marcus Epps? Okay, we'll start with Marcus Epps here. Okay, Marcus Epps, what does he need to do to show you that he can at least be a solid safety taking over for a guy like Rodney McLeod, for instance? So, so far from what I've seen, he's shown me enough to where he can be a, a quality safety. Okay. I just think he needs the opportunity for whatever reason. I, I'm not sure maybe him and um, – Defensive coordinator Gannon don't really jive well or or what, but it doesn't seem like he's really been given an opportunity to to take hold of that position. And for me, I, I think he just needs reps. He just needs to be out there as a starter. He needs to feel that he's the guy and he needs to feel that he it's his position to lose. And um, you know, I, I I thoroughly believe if he's given an opportunity and he's given, you know, the opportunity to not only do well, but also to make mistakes and not get pulled. Cause that's, that's important too. I think that he can de- definitely develop into a, a very good safety for this team. All right. Uh, you mentioned the man right there, uh, but we'll get to Jonathan Gannon in a second. When it comes to Anthony Harris, are you, are you confident that, that he'll be a guy that you could rely on as your, you know, basically your number one guy, your guy to cover the deepest threat on the field. I haven't, it's tough. I don't, I hate being negative on, on, uh, any, any player that plays in the, sure. league, play in the league, you're a phenomenal player, phenomenal athlete. I just haven't seen enough from him um, over the, the course of last season to really warrant um, him, you know, holding on to that spot for long. Uh, he's, he's a smart player, very intelligent, very, um, you know, he's, he's experienced better and he knows where to be. I just haven't seen the playmaking ability out of him. I haven't seen okay. the leadership out of him. I haven't seen um, him making plays when everything else kind of falls down and you're the last line of defense. And so that's what I would like to see out of him uh, moving forward. But, you know, so far, I'm just at that position. I just I want more from that position. Uh